Okay, well, week 18 has come and gone, and not only Travis K had rest for the, the playoff, but they had to play on wild, uh, wild card weekend. Uh, I believe Patrick Mahone rested too. But they're good for good reason. They're really good reasons uh, that they rest. Even though um, Taylor Swift was uh, at the Golden Globe. And I'm going to actually defend the joke. But I'm also going to play devil's advocate at the same time. So here, uh, they, 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 the joke was uh, t- uh, centered around Taylor Swift uh, supporting her, uh, her man, unfortunately, Travis K. Uh, now she now I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna cover Taylor Swift for saying she does have a right to see the games. That's her man, but I'm also going to play devil's advocate about the joke because every time she's at the game, oh the camera had to point to her. Cause the time that it's not even about the cheese, it's not even about the uh, you know, not even about the team. Oh, what, what, what is t- t- Taylor Swift and uh, Taylor Swift doing uh, or? You know, how she reacted to a bad call Travis K got, or, you know, how she reacted to this, or how she reacted to that. It's like, now it's all about Travis K and, and, and Taylor Swift. So, I get the joke. I get it. At least the go to go, you know, there's a lot of stars that that there are any award show matter. So, I'm, you know, I'm defending both Taylor Swift and the joke at the same time, because it is true. You know, it's like, I'm a Chief fan, okay? And now... You know, the whole relationship is taking the enjoyment of watching the Chiefs away, except for, you know, maybe the fans that are liking the, uh, the relationship. But I'm a widower. What do I know? I'm a widower. I'm in trouble, trouble finding a, a new queen of Big D country. What do I know? What the cat do I know? I'm a widower. And have a bat, have a bat problem off and on this weekend. Almost something feel like a deformity and stuff like that uh, uh, since last weekend. But thank God it's going down. Some parts are still there, but thankfully it, it has went down. But and where's the rain? Where's the storms? Uh, they supposed to come up during the uh, the championship game, which I did. Yeah, they did a uh, uh, a uh, sort of prediction on who's going to win the game since it's going to be here in the Houston area. I said that it's going to be a head to tail. It's going to be Michigan State versus, uh, it's going to be the head, and Washington uh, Washington State is going to be the tail. So it's going to be a double down in the championship game. And I'll let you know uh, during, after the wild card aftermath, you know, if I got it right. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be doing March Madness this year. Maybe I'll try. Uh, don't put me, don't quote me on this one. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the brackets for the show because every time I said I was going to do the show and I always forget it. I always forget about it. So, who knows? Who knows? All right. Ah! Oh, and again, tell us what birthday, Christmas, New Year's, all missed out on getting engaged. What are you doing? Why are you waiting? I mean, you got the money, you got the means, could have done it any time. People say you got the ring in the pocket, and and the the, the father already gave you permission to uh to uh get married. What are you waiting on? Then I saw a video that said, you know, tell us if uh predicted about something about um how she wanted the man to be like Taylor K. Back in two thousand nine or two thousand eight, but then again. You know, it wasn't a good thing for me anyway, because I was struggling that year anyway. But all in all, it's ridiculous. Can we please just get back to football? Can we please just get back to football? My God, they don't do that in hockey. They don't do that in in baseball. They shouldn't. Well, maybe they might do it in wrestling, but I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's SummerSlam. My favorite was the the Macho Man's we- uh the Macho Man and Elizabeth's wedding. That was my favorite. But anyway, uh, oh boy, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown when they finally get engaged and stuff like that because I'm still a widower. Anyway, let's get with the NFL pickup. Uh, the aftermath of the final games of the 2023 uh, season. 
Anyway, the uh, the Steelers was uh, playing the Raven. Although the Steelers won, I I kind of surprised at the low score, which is seventeen to ten. You think that this would be the last game of the entire season before playoff? You think they would have top it up a notch? Nope. Nope. Seventeen ten. That's the final. And but I got a win, so that's one win there, thanks to the Steelers. And it was a double down. Another double down. Texas versus Colt. And the score is 23 to 19, Texas. Thank you, Texan. Number two. Uh, Titans versus Jaguars. And either way, it's going to be win number three. 28 to 20. So that's one, two, three wins. And oh, boy. Even on the last, the last game of the, the last game of the regular season. Lions versus Vikings. Lions won 30 to 20. Oh, wow. A ten, only a 10 point difference. Wow, I did not know that. But I wanted the Vikings win, so I got a first loss of the week. Uh, Falcons versus Saints. And the Saints really pulled it out. Now, that's what I'm talking about. This is the last week of the regular season. Saints. Saints know what I was talking about because the final score was uh, 48 to 17. That's what I'm talking about. You want to pull it on there. Boy, the Jets were doing their homework. And I wanted I wanted the Jets to win on. Uh, oh, there. That's one, two, three, four wins and one one loss. Uh but the uh, the Jets were really doing their homework against the Patriots because the Patriots wasn't even in the building. I don't know what Bill Belichick was thinking. He must he must have really went bonkers that day because it was seventeen to three the final. The Jets. So thank you, Jets. Okay, two. Well, no, 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 not two loss, but this is a draw, so I have to get draw. So it's still four and one. No, one, two, three, four. No, it's five and one now. It's five and one. Uh, now it's five two, because no, no, I lied. It's not five two because I said I wasn't gonna do this game. But anyway, uh, Buccaneers did not let the Panthers show up in the game at all, and it was a low scoring game. It's the last game of the season. You mean to tell me, and it's a low-scoring game. This is not a pitcher's doing baseball. This is football. This is the NFL. Nine to nothing on the last game. 